Good day to you, got a ukulele.com back, instrument review time. Uh, it's a brand that I've featured before, it's been a while, it's good to get them back because the instruments I reviewed are theirs before, whilst they didn't get stellar reviews, they were perfectly respectable scores, they were very good value instruments uh, for beginners that I quite liked. That brand is called Flight, and Flight are a Slovenian brand that have a range of ukuleles made in China, um, but the brand is Slovenian and they're available widely in stores and it's a range of cheap to intermediate beginner range instruments, mainly laminates. Um, and as I say, I quite liked the other two. This one is a slightly higher end one for them. It is a really attractive looking thing. It's the V uh, DUC 460 Amara concert ukulele. Uh, and it's really quite stunning, isn't it? Now, Amara. That's what this wood is. It's actually an all laminate instrument, laminate top, laminate back and sides, two piece top, two piece sides, two piece slightly curved back. But Amara is a Central American and South Central Asian uh, sort of rainforest wood that's got this kind of really attractive stripe. It's kind of like a very stripy rosewood. Uh, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> um, I know it's not all solid wood, that is a veneer, but still, it's really, really pretty. Um, I think it's really, people like stripy woods. And I think this is far nicer than the zebra woods that flooded the market. Um, I mean, that's just really chocolatey, orangey. It's all finished in a satin. There's one or two rough finish marks on the satin, which are annoying me a little bit. Bit of un unfinished edges here, some little marks. But you know, the construction is very good actually, and it's light, and that tone wood is extremely thin, as you can see, meaning that this is dead resonant. Um, because you've got striking wood like that, not a lot of other decoration, we've got some simple black edge binding at the top and on the back edge, and I think that's nice because it complements it, doesn't take away from the wood. Rosewood uh, tie bar bridge, uh, screwed in place, pearl dots hiding the screws, bone straight saddle, really tidy inside, no mess at all, notched curved linings, delicate. It's, it's all right, you know, it's a really nice instrument. Up to the neck, this is made of a kume. It's stained dark to presumably match with the rest of the body. It's made of three pieces. I think that stain gives it a kind of an artificial look, to be honest, I don't like that. Um, I wouldn't mind if it was paler, to be honest. It kind of looks plastic, I don't know. Uh, it's quite a rounded profile, uh, 35 mil at the nuts, so not the narrowest, but um, that's all right. Rosewood fingerboard, we've got 18 frets, 14 to the body. And these really attractive pearl and abalone inlays. Um, I really like those. And they're at the uh, 5th, 7th, 10th, 12th and 14th. And thankfully, we have dots on the side as well. Everything's ticked. Also, the edge of that fingerboard is bound. So the fret edges are hidden. And there are absolutely no sharp edges. It's really good. It's really good. Uh, bone nut, Martin-esque headstock. Flight logo inlaid in pale wood and another nod to the markings on the fingerboard here with this inlay. It's very nice. The tuners are unbranded gold seal sealed gears. Uh, I think those buttons look cheap and they're too big and they're plastic and they're pretty horrible. And the deal comes with Aquila strings. You get a really quite nice quality padded flight gig bag. And the RRP on these is 179 euros. Um, I will come on to the price in a moment because that's part of my review, really. Um, as I say, though, well made, some little finishing marks. Don't like the tuners. That's about it, really. I think it's really attractive. It's balanced. It's not heavy. It's resonant like a drum because it's thin. And that resonance comes through with sustain. It's got great sustain for a laminate instrument. It's got great volume. It goes on and on and on. It's really, it's really good and that makes for a pleasurable playing experience. It's not a high end tone, it's a laminate tone, but it's not thin, it's not boxy, it's not one dimensional, it's got a really nice chime to it. Um, I really 
like that? I do. It's still... God, it's still resonating. Um, the tone reminds me of the Baton Rouge Sun concert, which is the one I rave about as an as a entry-level laminate instrument for virtually no money, which I think is terrific. It's right up there. You know, that's nice. I do like it, um, and as I say, the tone's up there with the Baton Rouge. What I don't like about it is the price. I know you're paying for striking wood, gold tuners, gig bag, inlays, bindings, but none of those things make tone. If you are comparing a ukulele side by side just on tone, and it's only tone you're interested in, and how it plays, incidentally, the setup on this is great, um, you know, the, the Baton Rouge is much cheaper. And it doesn't beat it on that. It's comparable on tone. I get that some people like to pay for bling and looks. And I don't think you should be disappointed if you bought one of these. In fact, it gets a got a ukulele recommendation. It sounds better than cheap, solid wood topped instruments that I've seen recently. Uh, it's got a really nice tone. I love that striking wood. I think shop around. Uh, I've seen them a little bit less than the RRP. I think it's just a little bit on the expensive side for what it is, and that drags the score down a little bit. But it's perfectly st still a perfectly respectable score. The Flight DUC 460 Amara Concert, um, pretty thing, uh, with a pretty voice to match. I'm back next week, something special coming for you. See you soon.